Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for Grade Three, and we are learning Unit Three. Its title is Never Lie to Your Family. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear children. Today, under the title of listening and speaking, we are going to learn how to express likes and dislikes. Before this, in English for Grade Two, I have already taught you ex expressing likes and dislikes. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And today, we are going to learn further to use appropriate expressions in conversation. to articulate or recognize and use some formulaic expressions to express likes and dislikes this is our today's essay let's start with the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah mentions in quran surah al baqarah verse 216 it could be that you dislike something when it is good for you and it could be that you like something when it is bad for you allah knows and you do not know yes my dear children what this verse is telling us that there can be something which you dislike but that's good for you and there can be something which you like but that's not good for you so we should be careful and the best things for us are the things which allah allows us which allah has created for us alhamdulillah and beta one thing more it is very natural now this verse is telling us there can be few things it is very natural with every human that there are few things which one may dislike and there are few things which one may like it means to like few things and dislike few things is very natural so how we can express it this is we are going to learn today right First, you tell me what do you like and what do you dislike. Generally, what do you like and what do you dislike? Pause the video, answer these questions to your teacher, and then come back. Yes, my dear children, I hope you have mentioned your liking and disliking. Okay, so here are the examples from your book. This girl is saying, "I like to clean my room on Sunday." Very good. It's a good habit. Do you clean your room? Good job. So this girl likes to clean her room on Sunday. All right. There is another, and she is saying, "I do not like to work on Sunday." Right. So, beta, whether you like something or dislike something, you should express it nicely. You should not be rude. No, why I should work on Sunday? It's my off day. No, you can nicely send. Uh, discuss it is something which i do not like but if you need to you can do it right so this is how verbally we express liking and disliking uh, as i told you is very natural but we should express it nicely we should always use nice words to express our liking about something and if it is something we don't like we should tell it also very nicely right okay So let's uh, see from your book. Here is a boy. His name is Ahmed, and he is telling what he like. I like playing outdoor games. Okay, I like reading poems. I do not like getting up late. Good. This is a good thing. One should not get up late. So you, he does not like it. I like to do. exercise in the morning that's wonderful so you see how this boy ahmed is telling about his likings and dislikings and there is another boy his name is aqib what he is saying i like playing indoor games okay this is your own choice one li likes to play outside the other likes to play inside this is your choice i like reading stories okay one likes poems the other likes stories it's also your own choice i do not like sleeping late good job you should go to bed early 
I like reciting the Holy Quran in the morning. Very good. You see, this is how all the good things we should like and the things which are not good for us, definitely we should avoid those things. And you see how nicely Aqib is saying he likes to recite Quran in the morning. Do you recite Quran in the morning? Very good. Better we should try. No matter what, if if a little bit, but we should learn to recite Quran nicely and morning is the best time for that, right? So better, do, do you find out how do we express ourselves? Very good. So I am going to give you an activity and all of you will participate to express your liking and disliking, okay? So what this activity is all about? Its title is Controlled Practice saying I like and I don't like. And but I don't like doesn't mean you have to be rude. Once again, I'm telling you, you will say it nicely, okay? What you are going to do, teacher will make peers of these students and teacher will write a list of nouns on board, okay? There will be a list of nouns on board. In peers, students take turns in choosing a noun for their partner to make sentence about it. For example, there are two students, student A and student B, they are paired. Student A select from the list apples and student B will say, I like apples. Student B select carrots and student A says, I do not like carrots. Okay, so pairs keep talking until they have gone through all the items on the board. Right, so everyone from the class will come and express and talk about the their likings and dislikings about the words which teacher has written on board. Are you clear? Okay, so pause the video, enjoy this beautiful activity and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So now it's time to practice from your book. Come in front of the class and express your likes and dislikes. Now, individually you will come and teachers kindly make sure Every student from the class should participate because it is listening and speaking class. So every child will come in front of class and will discuss about his or her likes and dislikes. Once again, pause the video, enjoy this beautiful activity and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So here is a homework. You will write five sentences about your likes and dislikes choosing the expressions we just learned okay and i'm giving you a worksheet again my fellow teachers this worksheet lesson plan powerpoint presentation links are given you may click it download it and kindly provide printed worksheet to students for practice and my dear children what you are going to do you will complete this um, box mentioning liking and disliking there are three practices on this worksheet so in this way, what we have learned, we learned the difference between likes and dislikes. And we learned to express likes and dislikes. And we learned to use appropriate expressions to express likes and dislikes. In this way, we achieved our today's SLO to use appropriate expressions in conversation to articulate, recognize, and use some formulaic expressions to express likes and dislikes. Are we done with it? Yes. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing, and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.